Hello everyone, we will continue the topic module pool programming and we will continue a specific topic difference between call screen and leave to screen. We firstly studied the concept from theory perspective, then we saw the practical for the same and now we will add some additional thing into this topic. We all know and we already studied this concept. What is leave to screen zero? We all know leave to screen zero. Go back to the previous stagged screen. It always, always go back to the previous stagged screen. Suppose simple example. I have a hundred screen number and suppose I have a 200 screen number from the hundred screen. I'm calling screen 200. Now in 200 screen, if I will write leave to screen zero, so control will come to hundred screen. Because what is the previous tag the screen? Previous tag the screen is 100. Now, maximum time people will ask, okay, I put a statement leave to screen zero, but I am not able to go back to the previous screen. Now, this concept will play a vital role, vital role. Simple, simple understanding. And this is the mistake because of that their expected output is not coming. Suppose I'm going for a simple example, then we will do the practical for the same. I'm on 100 screen. From the 100 screen, I am calling screen 200. By using which syntax? Call screen 200. Whenever you will use call screen 200, so 100 will be as it is and 200 will add to the stack. Now, in 200 screen, in 200 screen, suppose I am writing leave to screen 0. Whenever I will write leave to screen 0 in 200, Control will come back to which screen? Previous stag the screen. Just tell me, do you have a step previous stag screen? Do you have a screen in the stag? Yes. So control will come to 100 screen. Now, in which scenario this will not work? And because of that, man, maximum people ask the question, it is not working as expected. Suppose I'm on 100 screen. From the 100 screen, I am going to screen 200 by using which syntax? Leave to screen 200. Whenever you will write leave to screen 200, so this 100 will be replaced by what? 200. Now, in the 200 screen, if you will write leave to screen zero. Now my question is, is there any previous screen in the stack? There is no previous screen in the stack. That's why we are not getting the expected output. This is real project, real project. Yes, whenever you are going for call screen, previous screen is still there in the stack. So if you are writing leave to screen zero, Yes, it will go back to the previous tagged screen. But if you call a screen from another screen by using leave to screen statement, so how, how control go back to the previous tag screen? Because previous tag screen is replaced by the new screen, whatever you call. So it will not work because there's no screen to go back, there's no stag screen, there's no screen in the stag. It is very, very important understanding. Suppose I will show you the practical for the same. Suppose simple. Now, 
for in the hundred screen, whenever I will call two hundred from hundred, I will simply write now call screen two hundred. Now from 200, whenever I will call 100, I will call by leave to screen zero. Anyways, this is also a good way, but I'm just exploring whenever you are going for leave to screen zero. So just think at that point of time, do you have a previous tag screen active or not? Or it is already replaced. Now I will show you the practical for the same. Extremely, extremely important understanding. And these are the common mistakes which we did in the projects, which we do in the projects. Now I will put a break point. Firstly, 100 screen PBO. 100 screen PAI. Yes, it's done. I will remove this. I will go for 200 screen PBO. Yes, it is there. Now I will go for 200 screen PAI. I'm ready. Firstly, 100 screen PBO will call. And in the stack, we have which screen? 100. Done. I'm giving input. Whenever I will click on to submit button, PAI of 100 called. SIUCOM is display. Yes. And after that, PBO of 100 call. And a control is on 100 screen. Now I'm clicking on to navigate button. SIUCOM header. Now 100 screen is in the stack. Now we are calling screen 200. Through which syntax call screen 200. So 200 will add to the stack. Now you can see we have 100, 200. This is PBO of 200 and that. So 100, 200. In that 200 screen, whenever I will click on to this button, 200 PAI called. 200, 100. You have written leave to screen zero. It means it will go back to the previous tag screen. What is the previous tag screen? 100. So it will go. Have you seen? It is perfectly working fine. Perfectly working fine. Now we will go for other scenario. Suppose from the 100, I am calling 200 by using the syntax leave to screen 200. Leave to screen two. Now I will run. Firstly, hundred screen PBO called, and in the stack we have the hundred screen. I gave the input. We clicked on to submit button. PAI of 100 called. SIUCOM is display. And it will fetch data. And we are getting the data. This is PBO of 100 only. Because currently we are on 100 screen. Now I am clicking on to this button. Now, SIUCOM is header, header. In the stack, we have 100 screen. SIUCOM is header. It means this if condition is true. Now, we are going to screen 200 
by using which syntax leave to screen 200 leave to screen so this 100 will be replaced by 200 now you can see the 100 is replaced by 200 it replaced the previous tag screen now if i will click on to this button just see you have written leave to screen zero in PAI of 200. This my question is now we have written leave to screen zero. What is the meaning of leave to screen zero? It will go back to the previous stagged screen. This my question is do we have a stack? Do we have a screen in the stack? There's no screen in the stack. So how it will go back to the previous tag screen. Now, if I will do F8, you can see nothing. It went to the SAP easy access. These are the common mistakes which we do in the projects. So just think at that point of time, you used call screen or you used leave to screen. Yes, depends upon the requirement. We should think at that point of time. We should go for call screen. We should go for leave to screen. Yes, am I using leave to screen zero? Is the previous screen is active or not active? How I can go back to the previous tag screen? So these all questions should kept in the mind. And the conclusion is simply, simply, if you are going for call screen statement, the new screen will add, 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 and the previous is as it is. But if you are going for leave to screen, it will replace the previous stack screen. The previous screen will be replaced by the new screen in the stack. And yes, then we saw the benefit, then we saw the full conclusion, how leave to screen zero, if you are using this statement, how it will impact in your program. Yes. So this is the full, full explanation in this video, along with call screen and leave to screen, we added the concept of leave to screen zero also in this particular video. So if you are using call screen and leave to screen, how leave to screen zero will work or not work? In which scenario it will work? In which scenario it will not work? This is full, full explanation or difference of call screen and leave to screen. So that's it in this video. Thank you.